guys, welcome back to Lost Judgment. <clears throat> We're gonna go see our friend. See that sign right there? Ehara was leaning on that before the incident. Yep, just like that. He was standing around, searching for a victim. Ehara's the man in the cap and sunglasses. So, Ehara was lingering at the platform a while, huh? Yeah, he walked past the ticket gate at 7.43 a.m. This was confirmed by the security tapes as well as when he swiped his transit card. After that, he wandered the platform an entire hour ogling women. He spent that long choosing a target? Yeah, sick, isn't it? Then the security camera that caught him would be... that one? That's right. Anyhow, at 9.06 a.m., Ehara finally honed in on his would-be victim. Then he boarded her train, which was departing for Shinjuku. She's the one in the pink cardigan and white skirt? Yeah, Yui Mamiya, an office worker and mother of a six-year-old boy. The two of them show up on the train's interior cam as well. According to the victim's statement, Ehara began by rubbing her posterior with the back of his hand. But it didn't stop there. After that, he put his hand up her skirt. <sighs> Pretty sickening. I'm assuming he targeted someone shy, thinking she wouldn't resist. Makes me angry just thinking about it. The victim stated she was too scared to call for help, meaning she endured this for six minutes until the train reached its stop in Shinjuku. Can you send what you just showed me to my phone? Sure. Now let's head to Shinjuku Station. Then we can watch as the jerk gets busted. Even if we did defend him in court, an asshole's still an asshole. Looks like we're getting close to Shinjuku. The train's pretty light right now, but it was packed during the crime, right? Oh yeah. The car occupancy at that time of day can easily reach 180%. And Ahara should have been standing roughly where I am. Suspicious. What the? Suspicious. Hey. Suspicious. Hmm. Suspicious.
Ага. Suspicious. Ehara and Mamiya-san both exited the train and got onto the platform here. But right before that, Mamiya-san suddenly grabbed Ehara's wrist and yanked his hand out from under her skirt. That's when she got a good look at her assailant. So without a doubt, she saw it was him. Yes, and there were also traces of her garments on his hand during evidence analysis. Anyway, after being grabbed, Ehara wrenched himself free and took off at a sprint. See, here he gets off the train and bolts across the platform. And Mamiya-san chases after him, asking people around her for help. Ah, uh, this is what they kept looping on TV. Yeah. And honestly, with all this evidentiary footage, defending him in court was a lost cause. Was there any security footage that wasn't aired on TV? Sure, take a look around you. There's more than just one camera pointed at us. 
They're practically everywhere. Oh, yeah. As for what I was saying earlier, Ihara was finally tackled right in front of those stairs. Oh, right. I have a diagram of the platform to show you. So Ihara gets off the train here, and then gets apprehended here. How far apart is that? Roughly a hundred meters. Both he and the victim were weaving their way through the crowd. The whole scene was very chaotic. Even after Ahara was caught, the train was stalled 20 minutes until the area was deemed safe. Hey, you think we could get the positions of all these cameras and where they're pointing penciled in? Good idea. Let's check each camera's position as we walk over to where Ahara was detained. That's where he got tackled, so if you could let me know whenever you see a camera. I can mock it up on our diagram here. Hey. What the? Suspicious. Looks like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's go up a little further now.
Suspicious. What the? Looks like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's move on. Suspicious. Hmm. Okay, looks like we got all the cameras. Our diagram is now complete. Now we'll pencil in the camera locations and what directions they're pointing. Suspicious. What the? Hmm. Hey. So this was the general situation when Ahara committed his crime. What do you think, Yagami-san? Anything of note? Do you think Ahara and Mamiya-san were riding the train pretty frequently? Oh yeah, Mamiya-san commuted by train. She was here every weekday. Same goes for Ahara, actually, but he was off that day. Supposedly he was going to see his wife, even though they're separated. Hmm. Did he ever say why he wandered around the platform for an hour? He said the thought of his wife had him flustered and he couldn't force himself to board the train. He always had an excuse ready for anything you asked him, including the harassment charges. 
He pled not guilty, but the evidence said otherwise. There wasn't a single argument we could make in court to establish reasonable doubt. Safe to say he did it. But on the same day, he knew his son's bully would be murdered in Ijincho. <sighs> Pretty clear it wasn't a spontaneous need to grab some ass. I agree. It's almost like all the commotion around the harassment might have been planned out. Maybe everything was, even down to getting captured. Yeah. You really played everyone by turning harassment into an alibi for murder. No matter how much evidence points to him as a killer, we can deny it with complete immunity. This is getting crazier by the minute. At the very least, he had something to do with it. Some connection. But I can't imagine he'll talk. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty clear Ahara is committed. To what? Getting revenge for his son? I think so. Who do you think his accomplices could be? Ihara is a veteran cop. Think maybe he knows how to hire an actual assassin? If so, he could have just paid for his revenge, right? Sure, but assassins cost an arm and a leg. He wasn't rich before all this, was he? No, he barely scraped up enough to cover his lawsuit against the school. Not so. Hey, it's Shiosaki. What's up, Sari-san? I'm scheduling an interview with Ahara tomorrow at the Tokyo Detention Center. We'll take a taxi from Genda's if that all works for you. Sounds good, but I need to head back to Ijincho for now. Something you forgot to do? Yeah, it involves Ahara's motive, which would be without a doubt his son's suicide. So I want to confirm if Mikoshiba really bullied the kid, and the best person to ask happens to be down in Ichincho. Alright, then I'll let you get to it. Cool, then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 